There's a marking tool that we use that makes a really easy job for cutting half cut pavers. Gives us our perfect half. If we're laying a 45 degree herringbone and we actually need quarters though, it will give us four equal quarters on our cuts. Now we're going to go ahead and mark for our soldier course. And we'll place several pavers up against the curb just to give us a more accurate determination of where that line is going to be. So we'll bring it to the edge of our pavers and then we'll bring it off the paver an eighth of an inch just to give us a little room in case that garage slab does have a slight bulge to it and we're ready to snap. Now we're going to use a marking tool to mark the soldier course. This tool rides on top of our edge restraint and can be adjusted to fit the size of our soldier course paver. We'll lock it in place where once we've got it. Again, we'll use our marking tool to mark our soldier course. The marking tool rides on top of the edge restraint. We've adjusted the marking tool to fit the depth of our soldier course paver.
If you find yourself spending a lot of time on your knees, it's important to use some type of safety device. We're going to go ahead and use our template to mark for this obstruction. We have one inch, one inch, half inch, and we're flush on the back side. So then we'll go ahead and mark. We'll put our template down. We're ready to cut. Again, we're going to be cutting around an obstacle. And we're going to be using our template that we cut out previously to fit the obstacle. What I've done is I've laid out our pavers in the exact shape that they would fit the hole caused by the obstacle. And then I've measured to make sure that the openings are the same. Now what I'll do is I'll measure up to the obstacle. And make a mark on the pavers that we've laid out. Okay, now with the marks that I've set on the pavers, all I have to do is set my obstacle down so that it meets those marks. And I'm ready to go ahead and make the drawing on the pavers. I make my mark for the scrap. Anytime you make a cut on a paver, it's important that you put the cut side toward the obstacle or toward any type of change in color or change in pattern on the project makes for a much smoother looking transition. Another way to cut a clay paver is to use a paver splitter. We'll use our template to go ahead and mark exactly at the halfway point. point. 